Greetings, fellow adventurers. Welcome back to our channel, where we embark on literary journeys through the pages of classic tales. Today, we are thrilled to dive into the whimsical realm of Alice's adventures in Wonderland. So, fasten your seatbelts, because this one is going to be a wild ride. Before we tumble down the rabbit hole, let's set the scene. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland is a novel penned by Lewis Carroll, a pseudonym for Charles Ludwidge Dodgson. Originally published in 1865, this enchanting tale follows the curious and imaginative young girl named Alice as she finds herself in a surreal world filled with anthropomorphic creatures, talking animals, and peculiar situations. Our story begins on a lazy summer day, as Alice sits by a riverbank, bored and daydreaming. Suddenly, she spots a dapper white rabbit hurrying past her, muttering about being late for an important date. Intrigued, Alice decides to follow the rabbit down the rabbit hole, and as she falls, she experiences a dizzying sensation of weightlessness. As Alice lands in the curious room with locked doors of all sizes, she discovers a bottle labeled Drink Me and a cake marked Eat Me. Choosing to nibble on the cake and sip the potion, Alice undergoes bizarre changes in size, shrinking and growing alternately. She eventually shrinks small enough to pass through a keyhole, and this is how she finds herself in the beautiful garden of Wonderland. In the garden, Alice encounters the mysterious Cheshire Cat, who, with his enigmatic grin, guides her toward the Mad Hatter's tea party. The Cheshire Cat possesses a unique ability to vanish, leaving only his grin behind. This encounter marks the beginning of Alice's interactions with the quirky inhabitants of Wonderland. At the Mad Hatter's tea party, Alice is welcomed by the Mad Hatter, the March Hare, and the Dormouse. They perpetually engage in a never-ending tea party, where they constantly argue, tell nonsensical riddles, and make little sense. Time is forever stuck at 6 o'clock, and the entire scene is delightfully absurd. Continuing her journey, Alice finds herself at the Queen's Croquet Ground, where the formidable Queen of Hearts holds her court. The Queen, known for her love of ordering executions, presides over croquet games using flamingos as mallets and hedgehogs as balls. This whimsical yet perilous part of Wonderland heightens the tension in Alice's adventure. In the climax of the story, Alice is summoned to the courtroom for a bizarre trial, accused of stealing the Queen's tarts. The courtroom is filled with peculiar characters, and the proceedings are utterly nonsensical. As the trial unfolds, Alice bravely questions the absurdity of the situation, highlighting the arbitrary nature of the Wonderland rules. After a series of fantastical encounters and thought-provoking experiences, Alice begins to question her own identity and reality. Just as the trial reaches a chaotic crescendo, Alice suddenly wakes up from her dream, finding herself back on the riverbank where her journey began. She realizes that her extraordinary adventure in Wonderland was, in fact, a marvelous dream. And there you have it, the captivating summary of Alice's adventures in Wonderland. This timeless classic by Lewis Carroll has bewitched readers of all ages with its vivid imagination, quirky characters, and philosophical undertones. It remains a testament to the power of storytelling and the boundless possibilities of the human imagination. If you enjoyed our whirlwind tour through Wonderland, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more thrilling literary explorations. Have you ever found yourself lost in a dreamlike world of wonder? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep dreaming and keep exploring. Thank you for joining us on this marvelous adventure. Remember, in the world of imagination, there are no limits. Keep reading, keep dreaming, and keep wondering. Farewell, my fellow adventurers.